I got them out facing the sun. I just want to get the best reading, pointing towards the sun. So you can see on the clouds. And they come out and I do my reading. All right. Got my lead set. Sun comes out. Oh, I just waiting for the sun to come out from from that cloud right there for messing me up for now. All right, I'm ready for the test, and I brought some items along to test them with. Like this fan here, I'm gonna test it on the panels, and I'm gonna hook both of them together in parallel. Okay, here's my unit right here. I'm gonna check it out, hook it up. There it is. You test the solar panel, the PV modules, and well, let's hook them up. There you go. I'm gonna plug these in one of the PV modules, the solar panels. I should get a reading up here if I can see it in the sunlight. All right, let's begin. And the sun is out. Let's see how much we're getting. Meter and test subjects, this fan and this uh, solar panel parallel connector. And just remember, the, each of these are 80 watts each with up to 5. 13 amps. Okay, we're getting the sun. Let's, let's see how she does for the first time. Oh, we're getting power. Oh yeah, it's working as you can see. Just wait for get a good sunlight. So on auto, I got on auto, auto and manual, doesn't matter. And then we got the VDC, that's what this does, just the voltage, it's 18.7 volts. So that, Let's try uh, the manual MPPT. And here's the auto MPPT. They both show the same. And then just need some sun to come out. This thing is working, it's working. Just need some sun now. All right, we have the sun now. Let's see how she does. All right, we're getting exactly 80 watts. The maximum power these solar panels put out, 15.8 volts with 5.5 amps. Exactly what these solar panels are designed to put out. And this is just a wonderful tool to have everyone. This deal here to check your solar panels. Okay, let's check the others for the sun to go out. All right, we're gonna select this setting here. And we are here right now, it's MPP 10 right now. And we're getting 63.1 volts, the sun going out. 
It's going down as you can see. It's doing great. I'm gonna catch it the I'm gonna catch it again when the sun come out again. All right, like the sun is finna come out again. We're gonna let's see what we get now. Let's set it up again. Twenty-seven. Volt. I'm twenty-seven watts. Forty-two watts. It's going up. It's going up. Forty-four point six. Look at that. And the clouds keep on interrupting my uh, progress. Uh, so I'll catch. I'll try to catch it again. Keep it up there. Right now it's, it's it's tracking and each each time it, it's tracking the MPPT, it shows the complete voltage. Okay, it's rising up. The sun is coming out, as you can see. Forty point seven. What? Sixty-six, seventy-seven point six watts is going up. The voltage is fifteen point two volts and five point eighteen amps. Oh, it's going up there. Look at that, everybody. Look at that. Seventy-four point nine watts. Oh, it's going back down. The sun is going behind the cloud. Uh oh, it's coming back out again. Seventy-eight point two watts. 79.4, uh-oh, here we go, it's doing it. 79.6, come on, give me some more. 78, oh, it's hot out here, it's hot out here. <laughs> 78.9, 78 78.9 watts, 15.8 volts, 4.95 amps. It's doing it. Look at that, everyone. Seven to eight watts, seven to seven. Oh, it's coming back out. Each time the auto blinks, it's, that means tracking the MPPT. Maximum power point tracking, as you can see. It's doing it. Need a real good sun. Let me see if I can face these better towards the sun. So I can get the maximum output. Alright, I got these set up more pointing towards the sun, as you can see. On the cloud there. And when the sun come out again, I'll run the test again. Alright. In position, the sun is coming out. All right, the sun is just about to come out. If we're gonna come out, so I can do the test. We got all these this clear sky overhead for a great test. All right, here we go. The sun is out again, and let's see how she does. All right. Oh man, is that 80.9 watts, almost 81. Oh man, 15.8 volts and 5.9 amps. Just as these uh, solar panels are designed to produce, you know, in full sunlight. This is great, this is good. This is a neat instrument to uh, have everybody to test your solar panels for, exact po for your exact power. That's supposed to put out exactly. All right, let's check the other panel. Oh man, look at that! Seventy-eight point one volt, fifteen point eight from seventy-eight point three watts, fifteen point two volts at five point 
and now it's at 4.93 amps though so it's doing what it's supposed to do it is great just waiting for that magic number oh what the doing that uh, it's working and it's hot all right, I'm gonna cool these timers down to getting hot. And that's why they're not producing as much as now. Let's see what the reading's gonna be. Oh, I'm getting 80 to 84 watts. It's going. This is going beyond what's producing right now. 84, 85, 85 watts now. It's going up since I cooled it off. This is super great. That's what I'm talking about. Let me check the other ones. Okay. Push this button. That's what we're getting now. See MP MPPT tracking. All right, the sun is out again. Let's see how she does. Oh man, we're getting 82.6 volts. Man, 84.5, 84.5 watts. Oh man, 15.2 volts at 5.56 amps. Man, this is great, this is great. I have to, uh, wet the panels down to keep from getting hot and keep them producing at full capacity. Oh man, this is great. 85.1 watts, 14.9 volts at 5.69 at amps. This is great. This is so great. Let's check the others like quite quick. Okay, push the button as you can see. Let's see how she does. Oh man. MPPT 84.1 watt. Man, this is so great. Look at that. 14.9 volts at 5.59 amps. This is so great. This is so great. Now let's try with them in series. All right. All right, I, now I got both the panels here in series, going to one end, the negative going to the unit, and in series to the other solar panel. And here's the other lead I'm gonna hook to the unit right here. Let's see how she does. When I hook, hook this wire, when I hook this MC4 cable together with this one right here to, to this unit, I should get double the wattage probably talking about 16 and 17 watts with both of these in series. All right, let's see. Got them connected. Push the button. Oh, that's exactly 170 watts. Oh man, that's 30 volt, 5.65 amps. That's what I'm talking about. See that, everybody? You see that? That's what I'm talking about. This thing is a wonderful tool to have, everyone, to test your solar panels, when, especially when you're buying them. Just take them out in the sun and check with this unit right here to see if they're good. You're going to buy them or something. You don't want to buy no PV modules that don't work uh, in the thing, you know. So this is it, everybody. This is it. Right now, from the hook both of these in parallel and check the voltage and the amps, we should get more amps, though, but the same voltage in, in watts, you know. Let's do this. Oh, 
right, there we go. Both the panels are hooked in parallel. Let's check the power. Look at that, y'all. Push the button. This 167 watts at 14.4 volts at 11.5 amps. Now it's doing, now this meter is reading correctly right now. It's double the wattage, but the same voltage, double the amps. See right now, see right there. So I'm talking about, it's still at 80 watts. It's still 80 watts, 14.9 volts. And 9.12 amps as you can see right now it's it's showing correctly it's doing it's doing it all right this is my test load right here this fan i got hooked to the solar panel right here it's solar panel, the solar panels produce some power to run this fan as you can see right here look at that <laughs> so i'm talking about Here's the other solar panel running the fan right here. It's a load. It's a 24 volt fan right here. Look at that. It's producing. They both are working with no problem. So this concludes the test, everybody. So, so y'all make sure to subscribe, hit like, leave a comment, and see you next time. And another thing, I bought these two PV modules for a small application like a solar generator or just for emergency, just in case something may happen to those, you know, because we're in hurricane season, so we're going to need plenty of backup power to run our club. We never know what, gonna, what might happen if a hurricane or any kind of SHTF situation may occur at this time and age. Like what happened during the winter storm harbor. So this is something all preppers should have. Extra, you know, an extra inverter and extra power, cause you never know. This is a wonderful unit, you know, to test on solar, each solar panel, make sure they're getting full voltage and full sunlight. So make sure they producing full wattage full voltage and full amps and, and full sunlight. This is a pretty neat gadget to have everyone from Amazon, you know, eighty something dollars for it. So, so thanks everybody for watching and see you next time.